Hey guys, it's Donald's Keeper, and today I'm going to be unboxing the MoYu RSD 2020 M plus the magnet kit, weight 5, and Mystic. So I'm really excited for to get this cube because I tried it, um, a lot of people had this, and I tried it, and it was felt amazing. So I decided to get it myself, and it's pretty cheap. So I heard also the magnet, um, the extra kit, it's only $1.00. Um, and the link will be in the description for the magnet kit. It makes a really big difference I heard people say because the magnets are pretty weak and I felt that myself and I thought they were pretty weak Also, uh, I'll be putting weight 5 and mystic in my cube right over here the, I just cleaned this cube and now it's dry. So let me just let's just get start in the box so First up, I'm gonna start um, opening this. So let me just take out the magnet kit. There's tape as you can see so um, I'll just take out the tape this is a pretty nice box, so I think I'll just preserve it. Um, if I can't, or the box will open, I think you have to do this. Oh, you know, there's tape right over here. So let me just... Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so, um, so this accessory box. So there's an accessory box inside. Um, let me just move this away to, see, to show you it. Um, let me just try to open it. Unless I can just open the other side. Oh, there's also tape. So I can't really like push, oh, wait, I can just push this down. It'll come out. Wait. Oh, okay, that was so hard. Um, so let me just close this box up. Let's get into the cube. So it comes with this MoYu stand. It's pretty nice. So um, there's some plastic that let me just put this aside. I'll just go over the, those later. So we'll just get into the cube. That's what I'm really excited about. And this is the main subject. Well, main cube of the box. Okay. Wow, this is so fast. I think I need to tighten it. Yeah, this is too fast. I think I needed to tighten it to like, I don't know, like the tightest setting. So in, if you don't know, this cube actually has like just the like the GTS 3M on the WR. If you open the center caps, there are is this little clicky thingy. And what that basically does is it just um, changes the spring. So there's an amount. So it's like there's this much. Um, They don't want it to go too high or too low. You, if you think it's not enough, so you can just tighten the screw. So there's two adjustment things. In this cube so i'm gonna be tightening this um to a little bit tighter um so right now as you can see it's super flimsy flimsy uh, i like the matte flin finish as you can see it has this really nice looking matte finish i don't like i don't know why people don't like it also the logo um so the plastic internally is actually primary as you can see so i'll just take out a piece so the plastic right over here the core, I think, is not primary, it's white. Um, so, yeah, so, the turning is kind of sandy, really, really fast. The magnets are super weak, so I, like I said, I'm gonna tighten it. Um, it's really sandy, because all cubes out of the box are like this, so. Let me just test the corner cutting. It doesn't have this really unique feel or anything. Maybe when I put some lube in it, that I just box like, Wait, five or Mystic. I'll be putting the lube and maybe I'll have this own distinct feel that other cubes don't have. So, um, the matte finish will wear away if you don't know that. Um, usually if you do like a thousand soles or something, the cube will wear away. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This cube is so fast. I'm not sure it will be my main, but all those layers. So the corner cutting is pretty decent. So I can kind of cut 45, but I actually tried one of my friend's cubes, and like it, he just said, if you just keep on using it, the corner cutting is gonna get better. I don't know how that works, but I guess it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna be doing tons of solves on this. So as this, as I say, this cube is super super fast. It, it feels very light when you turn it. It's like really, it's like a gang cube. Like 
it really compares to the all, all the flagship cubes. I think it's even better than flagship cube. This uh, night replaced my main as again, or I don't know if my G test three might be in my name. So I have three comparisons. There's things stuck on it. Okay, so this is my main. Uh, the GAN is my, also my main, and this might be over those two, so I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to be doing a setup video with this later on in one of those other videos. So yeah, so now let's just get right into the accessory box. So um, let's see what's inside. Ooh. Um, so it talks about... Wait, does it have that? Wait. Um, it talks about this, but it literally doesn't come with this, so I don't understand. Well, it does come with the Mo U, like the um, WR and other cubes. Like, it did not come with this, so I think it's just talking about this thing. So now, this is what um, the accessory box comes in. Um, uh, there are some photos of Drew Bratz and this guy. I don't know who he is. Um, so, like I said, before i'm gonna there's a few springs so if i just take out the center cap do you see this little blue thing right over here so there are nine settings to it i'm pretty sure there's nine wait let me just find out so this is the first setting the loosest setting i'm gonna put this piece in if you do one click it the cube is gonna get tighter and it's gonna feel more controllable the loose the looser it is well, basically, it's going to feel really flimsy, but really, the corner cutting is going to be pretty good. So, um, I'll just put it to the last setting. And plus, if you put it on the last setting and you and you just do one more turn, it's going to reset it. So, yeah. And if you don't like any of these settings and you put it on the last one, it's too loose. I mean, too t loose still. You can just adjust this um, screw. So, yeah. So, I'm going to try to adjust it to the last setting to see how it feels like. Yes, this is a lot better. Okay, so now all of these springs are now tightened. Um, wait, why is the magnet like kind of pull? Oh wait, it's kind of open. Let me just check. Okay, so let's feel the turning. Wait, let me just push in all the center caps as far as I can go. Yes, this is a lot better, but I think it still needs to be tightened a little bit, so I might just put like silk to slow it down or just some weight 5. I'm not sure what weight 5 does, so let's we'll just get on to testing it after I just describe how this feels tightening it. So now, after you tighten it, I think I, I, I saw... You can kind of feel, hear a spring noise, which is kind of weird. I think I can just put a loop on the spring. I think it'll just go away, but it still feels really fast, but it's more controllable as before. I think if I put them magnets, it's going to be a really big difference. You're only going to put them in edges because if you put them in the corners, well, I don't know how to do that. And it only has enough for the edges, so you just take out a piece, open this, if I can. Yeah, like that. And then you put a magnet right over there and right over there next to it, and the magnet strength will be a lot better. So, yeah. We'll just put this back and let's just go test out some of my loops. First up, we have missed it. We're gonna test it on this cube because, like I said, this this thing has some little factory loops, so I'm not sure if this will be qualified to put these two loops and tell exactly how it'll feel. So I'll just use this one because I just cleaned it up and it's kind of slow, sluggish. Um, this cube is actually kind of squishy. As you can hear, it's kind of like, it has like kind of like push feel. I really like those feels. Maybe if I put some silk, it's going to have a lot more of those feels. So let's just test out the Mystic. So let's just open it out of this bag. Like that. Wow, it's so sticky out. Um, usually all of these loops are like that. It's actually not the loop, it's just the paper. So I'll just go open it up. Um, it says to apply on the tracks, but I did get this loop before and I didn't really like it putting on the tracks because you're basically wasting a lot and I don't want to waste too much loop. So let's just go test it out. Open this up. Like that. I'll just put one drop inside. Well, that's a big bubble. Okay, um. I'm squeezing pretty hard. 
looks like water. Okay, I actually got some. So I'll just put it back in and break it in. Whoa. Yeah, Mystic just makes it super, super fast. Also has this nice feel, really push feel. Um, it just has to apply on the tracks. Like I said, I didn't like that. So I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to make this faster and has this unique Mystic feel. Um, it's really like fast. It's, it's basically like Silk, but instead like the faster version. Like if you want to speed up your cube and you want to have the same feel as Silk, well, this is the right way to get it. So, um, yeah, so I think that's about Mystic. So let's just test out weight 5. Okay, we have weight 5 over here. I never had one of these type of, like, bottles where it's like a syringe, you know? I never had one of these. So I don't know how easy it is to push out or how, how hard it is to push out. I did see how you can do it, so I think you have to like unscrew this and like put this little green needle tip and you have to like dispense by pushing this. So as you can see, there's kind of like a no block, so I think that's why you have to... So maybe they just use this so it doesn't leak. So I think I have to... It's kind of hard to twist out, like... Um... I think I'm twisting it back in. I'll just be back when I actually... <sighs> oh my god, this is so hard. Wait, oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so I think I just have to squeeze this back in. So I think it's just clockwise to screw it back in and counterclockwise. So I think you have to like take out a piece or something. And you have to like apply, apply them to like the inner parts. Oh, see that? That's mystic right over there. That's not dirt because I already cleaned it. So I'll just like, place some. I think that. Um, I'll do the same thing to the other side. This is a 5cc bottle, and this is a lot. Okay, I apply it to the tracks, the edges. No, I think I just, like, I don't know, I have to put, like, some over here. Okay, so let's get on to the corner. Okay, so I think you have to, like, move over here. Like, around here. It's actually not that hard to suspense. Like, you don't really need to push anything, it's already coming out. I think that's fully looped, right? Let's get it into focus. Like that. Okay, so I think that's enough. And I'll just put this back in. And. Whoa. So slow. Never mind, it's speeding up. Oh my god, this is so fast now. So weight five has this little like blocky feel. I kind of like that feel. So it kind of like like at the beginning once you put it in, it's kinda of like silk. You just it just like feels kind of blocky and doesn't feel that nice. Like I think you need to do like tons of salts on this or like you're breaking in a lot. Um, I can't really do it fast off because I'm staring at a camera, um, so, oh yeah, so I think I just, I think I need to switch it, like that, um, so yeah, um, let's just twist this back in, thanks for watching, um, let me just set everything up, let's just move this all aside, okay, let me just make the thumbnail right now, Screenshot. Okay, that's good. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!